Okay guys, this is part two. Um, this is the kitchen tour. So let me show you guys what I did in the kitchen. It's awesome. So this RV actually doesn't have a lot of storage. It's very small and I fit five people in here. So I need to come up with easy ways to store things. <clears throat> and so this is how I did it. So one, in the fridge, you gotta have your egg carriers by the way. I use the take along containers to, to put things in the fridge. I'll show you guys that when we pack our RV. Um, but that makes the fridge organization amazing and then like I freeze my food in it so after we're done eating it we have a, a leftover container it's great um over here I usually keep my pots and pans now I just keep my cast iron um and I'll show you where I put my pots and pans like the other ones that we need um but we mainly use the cast iron and we just um decided to start bringing this with us so I want to try to use it the Dutch oven so but my husband built these things and it, they go over so this goes over the um it's like a, a four uh, burner thing and then this goes over the sink and I can just take them off whenever I want to um, but yeah so I keep those there because they're very heavy I don't want to put them in the cabinets and then this is a necessity something to have your um, uh, paper towels on do that I always keep a mirror right here it definitely comes in handy um, and then I have my spices and oils and you know, things for cooking. So that's that area. Um, these uh, magnet come in so handy. I actually have a few over here too. We hang our sunglasses on them, keys. Um, we put cords on here when we have our phones plugged in so they're up and out of the way. They're great. Um, up here I keep... Um, like Reynolds Wrap, Press and Seal, there's Ziploc bags in here and cleaners and matches and things like that. We don't use our microwave, so it's a great place to have storage. Um, and so I do that there. Um, and then this was in the bathroom before my husband built the storage rack in the previous video I just did. Um, and so I wanted to use it here to see if it works so we can rest our phones on it because our phones are like always on the countertop and they're always in the way. So I wanted them up and out the way. This just gives me a little bit of you know elevated space and so yeah we'll see if that works I think it will be perfect um and then over here I just always keep my coffee stuff and this just ends up coming out when we leave um I actually end up emptying one of these soap things so I actually have the regular soap in this one that the soap came with for our hands and then I emptied this into the house like where I'm using the soaps and I put a uh, dish washing soap in here. So we have like a pump. So that worked out really well. And then I have mouthwash always, face wash, always have lotion and some scrubbers up here. That's how I kind of set my kitchen up. And then this is where I changed. So up here, I'll take the basket down, but up here I put um, some trash bags in one of those clear containers. And then I put, I had different stuff in here before, but I put, um, so one of these has like sunscreen and face lotions. This one is medicines. And then this is like first aid, like band-aids and, and ointment. And then up here I have uh, laundry bags, um, little cotton face scrubbers. And then I have sewing stuff and then like a little laundry stick for stains. And I have like sewing stuff and like little first aid kit and things like that in there. And then I'll show you what's in here. I'll take it down. I just had this basket um, up there on like a non-grip sliding shelf liner. And it just has uh, some little face towels, hand towels, um, like for washing the face or, you know, I need a little hand towel. And then I have some extra uh, paper towels. So that's what's in this basket. And it works out really great. And I just put it up there and it helps take care of that vertical space up there. A good thing about this when we're driving it will just hit this lip and it won't fall out for word to us I had like cups and stuff in here before and plates but they would always fall out and hit us when we open this cabinet so hopefully this takes care of that problem and then when we're driving I just have to put something right here so the doors don't fly forward but I mean even if they did nothing would really fall out because the weight on this is pushing down on these doors so it's awesome um, and so hopefully that takes care of that space and I utilize it better because this is where I'm like washing my face and hands and all that anyways. So I think that will work out really great. And I really, really like that. That's like one of my favorite things. So let me take you to this cabinet to show you where I put all the stuff that was in here. 
So here are the drawers real quick. Um, so some of this stuff I had actually up in the bed, but my husband's always like where his stuff is. But my husband's always looking for this stuff. So I decided to bring it down here um, and put it in this drawer. I wasn't really utilizing this drawer, so I kind of organized what I had in here up here in another spaces. Um, and so we use this a lot. This is like a multi-tool, um, tweezers, stuff like that. Uh, toenail clippers, a sharpie. So I put this in here. I put our cords and extension cords that we need for like music and stuff in here. Um, my husband's headlamps because we keep the kids in a different spot, but he wanted his where he can easily get them. And then we have some binoculars because the kids and my husband love their binoculars and they're fun. So that's what's in that drawer. And then in here is all of our kitchen stuff. Um, you guys, by the way, these work amazing, especially like put one of these in your coffee and pour your camping coffee and it catches the little, I should really look into getting some of those. Um, okay. So in here we keep knives and knife sharpeners, scissors. Um, I always have steak knives and these little holders are from the Dollar Tree and they are, um, desk organizers for pen pens. And I just pushed these up on one side. I kept the little box on one side. This is usually where the pencils go and I pushed this end up. It took like two seconds to do and I put my steak knives in there and then they're secure. And then these are like clips for the table to hold down uh, the tablecloths. And then I have spoons and forks and another one. And then I always keep scissors. And then we always have like a funnel that has come in handy. Um, a meat thermometer, don't forget your can opener. And then um, I put some wooden skewers in here for kebabs. And then a brush if we're barbecuing. Well, you're always barbecuing, but you use barbecue sauce. And then we always keep our lighters here, which works out great for if you are trying to start fires. And then I have like a quick backup can opener. One of the old school ones in case that can opener breaks. So you always want backups and it's small and fits. So that is what that drawer looks like. Okay, so this was my big change too. So up here, I decided to put my mixing bowl and I've got like a measuring cup in there too. And my tortilla warmer in here. And if they roll, they just kind of hit that bar. So hopefully they won't fly forward and hit us um, on these clear shelves. And then I have um, some tissues always. That is a must when you're camping, bring tissues. Um, and I just have the line down of like clear shelves. This is where I would put food, food. The last few times that's where I've put food. So I know that that kind of works and it doesn't like fall out. I put like bread and stuff in there. It works out great. And then I usually use like the shoe storage bins from Sterilite for like snacks and stuff. So it works out great. And I put it right here and it fits. Um... This has like cutlery. I got these from the Dollar Tree. They're little pencil containers and stuff. So it has like um, one, some have like forks, knives, and spoons. And then I always have some reusable tablecloth or not reusable, uh, throwaway tablecloths. Um, they're great. They help keep, keep your table clean. Um, and then I have um, some smell good stuff, which is really important in a small space. <laughs> and uh, some reusable coffee cups. We don't really use those, but we have them just in case. And then down here I have um, a little bag of stuff and then some lights and stuff. Um, we love these little lights when we're camping at night. We use them to like walk around and everything. They're great, the little lanterns. Um, okay, so let's start up here. So I put my cups and stuff up here. Um, so this little lip will stop these from flying out and this. So I think that's going to work out well and I can just like take it out. Um, I get my food from here anyway, so I figured this would be like, this is our cooking cabinet. Um, and then I have like our cups for hot cocoa and then my, I'm currently using my, uh, coffee cup, but my husband's coffee cup is right there and we'll have mine right here. This is like our big water cups, but, um, water, coffee cups, whatever you want to use them for. Um, and then right here I put my pans and I figure I can put my snacks here and put my bread on top of here. And so we'll see how that works. You'll see when it's all packed. Um, but you definitely need little saucepans. They work out well when you're camping for like heating stuff up, especially when, when you don't want to clean the cast iron, like soups and stuff. And then I always keep a big pot to boil things. So, and then I have like a strainer inside the pot. It's really awesome. Like a steamer. It's cool. Um, and then I have extra pepper because we love pepper. <laughs> um, I just created this. This is what my, uh, 
first aid used to be in until I put it in those drawers. Um, and so I just put like suckers in here and gum. Um, I don't know if I'll keep it in here. I just wanted to utilize it for a little bit. Um, that way my kids have a little treat on the road. So we'll see if I keep it like that. Um, down here. Oh, these are, these go in the car. These, these house my chips. I got these for like a dollar at uh, Goodwill and they are in perfect condition. And I just put my chips in there. Open the bag up. You don't want to put bags when you're going up in high elevation because they'll explode. <laughs> Um, okay, so some things I always keep in here. I've got to get some Tapatio, but um, I always keep Tabasco, and I like to keep honey now in case someone gets like a sore throat or is not feeling good. Um, I always keep steak seasoning. I do have to get some more Worcestershire, 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 but I do keep some soy sauce too because I noticed one time we had rice and we needed soy, so I just keep it. It's, it doesn't hurt anybody and it's small. These are extra seasoning packets. And um, I have a cutting board here, and then I keep in these little, like, organizing things, I keep um, little packets of ketchup and mustard and mayo and hot sauce in there. And then I in this one I have, like, jams and teas and lemon um, in case we want some tea. Um, we haven't won it yet, but, you know, who knows? Maybe one day we'll want some tea. Um, and so that is what I keep in there, and I think it's going to work out perfect. I am loving it. And I'm just so glad that this stuff isn't going to come out falling and I don't have to keep moving this stuff over there. I have more space over there now um, as before I have to keep moving it to just, it was just all cluttered. So hopefully this works out. I'll show you guys what it looks like when we are all packed, but I am just loving this. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. And if you want any, like, if you want any and detailed things let me know down below and maybe I can give a little tour or you know some some input on how I organize thanks for watching bye guys